Someone on the Small World GIS Yahoo group recently asked a question about how does one take a Small World map trail and convert that in, uh, into a KML format. Um, so one solution is to use the freely available open source magic components library. You can uh, find it here at this URL. Um, the preferred way of getting Getting the source code is to use Subversion to download and check out a repository uh, onto your own local drive. So you have full access to all the, the module directories directly on your box, on your machine. And um, then you can load various modules into your image for what you need. Um, another way of doing it is downloading a zip file of a um, distribution. You can see they don't necessarily keep up to date very much, so the most recent one is 16 May. Although in this case, the Magic Components library hasn't been changed since then, so you should be okay. Just, um, I'm sorry, the Magic Component library has changed, but the KML export and import has not changed since then. So you should be okay for KML just to um, download that. All right. So once you have it downloaded, you um, you you know you check it out, or you have a directory structure somewhere on your um, computer and you, you have this product.def uh, folder uh, file there and you can use the um, small world module dialog manager to go to this McLib core swaf product and then you'll want to go down to uh, McLib KML export and then uh, say load module and I've already have it loaded in the image but you can, we can load it again <coughs> Once there, um, you can actually go to the directory, and it turns out there's a sample.txt in there. And this uh, txt file um, just gives you some idea of how to, uh, you know, how to use it, right? So you can export trails. Um, you know, here we'll find out. There's a lot of methods called KML. Uh, you know, you can do it on a trail or sector rope, various things. So we're going to do it on a trail. So um, I don't want to do just a boring old trail. I want to do an interesting trail. So here's my scenario. I am in uh, Kenya in Nairobi, and I want to go um, on an excursion to Mount Kilimanjaro, and I want to know how to get there, and I want to see it on Google Earth. Well, right now I can just see it in um, in Small World right here, you know, with 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 this nice background. But I want to export it as KML, and that's a straight line. I don't want the straight line. I want to do. I want to make use of some routing information. So I want to go from that from Nairobi. Um, to uh, Kilimanjaro. So you can see, of course, it'll give me a route you would expect but then um, I've converted this to a trail now so you can see even if I get rid of this uh, cool routing engine that I have there is still a trail that runs from right Nairobi down to Arusha then I go here and follow the information in um, that uh, sample.txt I'm going to set up an external output text stream and then I'm just going to do one other thing. I'm going to say simple XML right element on to the stream, and then I'm going to get a handle on the trail. I happen to do it through a whole bunch of string calls here to the plugins, and etc., but I have a handle on the trail, and I'll say as KML. That's all there is to it. So let's open it up and see what it looks like. Test KML. Oh, hang on. The other thing you have to do is you have to close the stream. There we go. So you can see there the KML has got place marks and such. And now all you need to do is uh, start up um, Google Earth and say open up KML. And there we are. The KML is loaded. Uh, you can see it went into uh, Google Earth and it showed me the trail from Nairobi all the way to Mount Kilimanjaro. And that's how you export KML from a map trail in Small